A lot of misinformation is promoted about CEDLs on social media. In a recent post, uh, Benjamin Bickman, a professor and online diet grifter, claims that seed oils cause weight gain. Uh, I'll read the post here. Want skinny fat cells? Avoid seed oils. Soybean oil, canola oil, corn oil. These oils are enriched with the polyunsaturated fatty acid, linoleic acid. Linoleic acid, one, accumulates in fat cells, two, turns into 4-HNE, 3-4-HNE forces fat cells to grow. And then he links his handle on Twitter and Instagram and also his handle for his supplement company. This post got over 1,500 likes and he says, linoleic acid from seed oils is capable of making fat cells fat and sick. Exclamation point. Hashtag seed oils, hashtag fat cells, hashtag insulin resist, resistance, hashtag inflammation. And that's in the caption. Okay. Well, um, in this post, Dr. Bickman lists several mechanisms and he links them together in a story that expresses the reasons why uh, his claim should be the case that canola oil, soybean oil, corn oil, um, prevents you from getting quote unquote skinny. However, uh, he does not provide any evidence for this story. He just provides the story. Science requires evidence for a story to be true. This is known as testing the hypothesis. Bigman provides no indication that the hypothesis he is presenting has been tested. The only thing is, uh, it actually has been tested. And studies overwhelmingly and consistently show that the opposite of what Bickman claims is actually true. Seed oils actually pr promote fat loss and a higher metabolic rate. This was found in one comprehensive review looking at dozens of studies published in 2014 a long-term clinical trial of 83 subjects looking at the impact of soybean oil versus cocoa butter and palm oil on liver and body fat in 2021. Uh, and this was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. And finally, It was, it was found in a meta-analysis of 25 randomized controlled trials comparing canola oil containing diets to other diets, including saturated fat containing diets. And that was published in 2019 in Advances in Nutrition. In particular, reading from the last meta-analysis of 25 studies looking at canola oil, it found that the meta-analysis revealed that canola oil consumption reduces body weight and it found this in uh, particularly in participants with diabetes, type two diabetes, and when canola oil was compared with saturated fat. In fact, it had a particular, particularly robust impact on patients with type two diabetes and compared to people eating saturated fat. So in those two situations, replacing canola oil with saturated um, re replacing the saturated fat with canola oil made a really large impact and giving it to people with type 2 diabetes made a bit, big impact. On, again, body weight. So all of these studies are remarkably consistent. Not only do, do diets containing seed oils outperform other diets in terms of metrics like fat oxidation, diet-induced thermogenesis, and energy expenditure, increasing all of these relative to diets high in saturated fat, and this has been shown in dozens of studies over the course of four decades. They also perform, they also outperform these diets in the ways that matter, fat and weight loss. That's right, replacing butter 
with seed oils produces not only better blood lipids and cardiovascular disease risk and a lower risk of death, but also lowers your body weight and your body fat. It is critical for us to actually test our hypotheses and not promote misinformation based on hypotheses that are unsupported by evidence. Thanks for watching the video.